in just a matter of seconds, this can turn into this. A little over a year ago, it happened to a pregnant woman in Florence who carried a burning pot and dropped it, leaving her with serious burns. On Tuesday, Myrtle Beach Fire Department Lieutenant Christian Slyker showed us the dangers of a stove fire and how to properly put one out. Just putting a pot, uh, a lid on top of the pot, and turning off the ignition source and letting it cool down is the best way to put the fire out. Slyker says make sure your skin is covered and protected before you put it out. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to use this lid right here. We're going to come from the back side and then we're going to let it cool off, turn the ignition source off, uh, and then you can remove it from the heat. If you don't feel comfortable using the lid, you can use a fire extinguisher or some baking soda. Or you can use something like this fire stomp, a small extinguisher which can sit above your stove for emergencies. What it will do is, if it gets too hot, this fusible link will actually melt and it will discharge this extinguishing agent, putting out the fire. Disasters can really happen in the kitchen anytime, which is why it's always important to be aware of your surroundings, keeping both eyes on your meal so that your holiday meal doesn't turn into a holiday disaster. Unattended cooking is one of the leading causes of fire during our holiday season. Cooking fires account for more than 28% of home fire related injuries. Slyker says following these steps can help extinguish that statistic for good. In Myrtle Beach, Mark Liverman, WPDE News Channel 15.